Hi, my name is Alex and I'm here to talk a bit about modelling with upcoming brands. My first photo shoot was um, actually with the first modelling agency that I signed with. Um, yeah, it was a really easy process. Um, drove down there, got into the studio and um, yeah, we were in and out in about 10 minutes. And um, funnily enough, about 10 minutes later, I signed with them. Yeah, we had um, the location, the uh, outfits, everything was, um, was set up from well in advance. So yeah, it was an easy day really, yeah. In general, the most important thing for me is uh, the preparation, just knowing your dates, your times, your locations, your uh, outfit, especially with a photographer, building up some kind of um, some kind of relationship, some kind of rapport before you actually shoot with each other. Because um, I feel like the vibes when you're working together, the way you're able to bounce off of each other, it's gonna help to create better content, better images. So um, yeah, I feel like building up that kind of relationship with someone before you shoot can be really helpful in um, creating good work together. And then um, with brands, you can still do that. You can still have that kind of personal relationship with um, brands and with the people that you're going to be working with with them. But um, also with uh, more so with brands, you have to um, make sure that that the business is taken care of as well. The uh, payment and things like that, because um, yeah, you have to make sure that uh, when it's a business transaction, everything has to be put in place properly in writing, so everyone knows what the deal is. Funnily enough, modelling was never really in the plan for me. Um, since I was a kid, I played football at a pretty high level. And um, a couple of years back, uh, after a training session, we went back into the building. And um, there were a few people in there that we hadn't seen before and um, got to talking to them. And there were a few of them were models. A few of them were um, members, of, uh, members of a modelling agency. A couple of um, casting people as well. And... Um, all of them, were, I was talking to them for a while and they were all saying, yeah, this is, um, we feel like you should have a look into this thing because it's something you could be good at. And um, obviously, at first you kind of yeah, laugh at how me model, yeah. But um, then, about when I got home about an hour later, I got um, reached out to by a legitimate modeling brand, modeling agency. And um, I guess I kind of thought to myself, because you have, you have these kind of passing conversations with people like, yeah, you should model, you should do this, you should do that. But I felt like for me to have a serious conversation with people who are in the industry and then just by chance, by coincidence, that same day, an hour, if that later, to be reached out to in a serious way by a legitimate agency, I thought, maybe this, uh, maybe this means something, maybe this is something I should... Um, should consider so yeah I looked into it and it's all um it's all kicked off from there and now we're here I would say based on the initial approach the um the actual day of shooting and then afterwards the uh talking afterwards in the planning of potential future shoots I would say it has to be a brand called the Batty London they do um sportswear Streetwear, menswear, women's wear, eyewear, um, they do shoes as well. Yeah, they're just um, really, really fire clothing they've got. And um, the people there's got good people behind it. So, um, yeah, it was really, it was a pleasure to work with them. And, um, yeah, the whole, the whole day was just, it was a vibe. All the models on the set were having a good time. We were having good food. We were dancing and joking around when we weren't filming anything so yeah it was just it was really good really good photographer is a harder one um i've worked with a lot of them and um a lot of them have now become people that i talk to on a regular basis um the guy i did my first ever location shoot with was a guy called peter um he's so sick really creative guy I've done a lot of really really good shoots with him and on that that same shoot that um in covent garden that first location shoot there was another photographer called Joe there who, again, really, really good. He worked a lot with a guy called Alfonso, who um, is an unreal photographer, and he gives really good advice as well. 
um, a guy called Afro Film Viewer I've um, shot with and Look and Pursuit with again he's really really good did a studio shoot with him in High Wycombe and it was fire definitely gonna link up with him again but um, if I'm gonna pick a favourite I think it's gonna have to be um, a guy called Daniel uh, Daniel Dre on Instagram he's also got a photography page called Carlton Media he's actually um, his family is my cousin's cousin and um we started linking up recently to uh, work together with seeing he's a photographer, I'm doing modelling, it only makes sense to collaborate and help each other out. And um, yeah, since we've started working together, it's just been so much fire that we've put together. It's been next level. And the vibes we have when we're working together, we just bounce off each other, bounce off each other creatively. The vibes are just up there. It's really good. So... Yeah, and then some of the work that we've done has actually um, got attention from some good brands as well. So, yeah, we've got a lot in the pipeline together as well, a lot of things planned. So um, if I've got to pick a favourite, I'd have to say it's my guy, Daniel. Brands-wise, I'd love to work with Six Silk. I've, um, I've been featured on their page before for some of the shoots that I've done. But I'd love to do some work with them. I really love their um I love their stuff. Um I'd love to work with a brand called Design B London. Uh they do jewellery, fire, I love their jewellery. Um then the list is it's a long, long list. Um you've got your users, you've got ASOS, Boohoo Man, uh Criminal Damage, Berska, Liquor and Poker, um Nike, Adidas. And then obviously you can go a bit a bit higher end, things like uh, Gucci, Versace, Dior. So yeah, um, there's a long list and I plan on taking off most of them. But um, even like more, I don't, know if, I don't know if you want to call them smaller businesses, but yeah, smaller brands like startup brands, people, anything that's got good people behind it and they're making good content, I'm happy to work with anyone. And then... Um, Photographers. Um, there's a guy called uh, Jimmy Flix Photography on Instagram. Uh, we've been talking for a while about shooting, but obviously with the situation in the world and lockdowns and all this, it's been pushed back a bit. But um, yeah, I'd love to work with him, and we're definitely gonna link up and do some shoots soon. And also on um, Instagram, a guy called uh, I Am Nosy Boy. I've been following him for a while, and um, yeah, some of the shoots that he does, they're just like. The images that he gets are just, they just look so clean, so fire, so I'd love to shoot with him as well. Tough one. I think I lean towards a location. I just feel like when you're shooting on location around in the in the real world, it feels, it just feels more real, it feels more raw, and I feel like the images feel... They feel more real when you get them, when you then get them, you start putting them out places, it feels more authentic. Like the way you could have a, I don't know, the way the breeze might change slightly and move something in the background or the way the sun might move and create different kinds of shadows or the way the weather might change. It might start off with a shoot and it's like sunny, then it turns overcast, might rain, might be windy. And then also just being in and amongst people and like, Obviously, when you're on the street and you're shooting, you get some people who are coming, say, oh, what are you doing? And then talking to them and you, the networking element of it, you meet a lot of interesting people who might take interest in what you're doing. But then having said that, one of my favorite shoots that I've ever done was um, with a photographer called Afro Film Viewer and a model called Lindy in um, a studio in High Wycombe. And that was just fire. It was so good. Music playing. Uh, yeah, it was a... It was a vibe, it was really, really good. So I feel like they can both be as good as you make them. But um, me personally, I would lean slightly towards location. I think just enjoyment, really. Um, I feel like if you don't enjoy in any walk of life, you don't enjoy what you're doing, then uh, there's not really any point. So, um, yeah, I think just enjoying it, making sure you're having good vibes when you're working with people, you're enjoying what you're doing. And usually that enjoyment will breed better quality of whatever it is you're, you're doing. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a creative industry to be in. So, um, yeah, enjoy creating with, and enjoy the process of making 
making good content so yeah i think just uh yeah the enjoyment really that's the most important for me um not really you know um i think for me i like the preparation is key so knowing the date the time the location the outfit or outfits depending on the type of suit it is but then once all of that's in place i kind of like to um i like to go into a suit as empty as possible so like possibly i'll have i might have seen something in a, I don't know, on tv or in a music video or on instagram and i'm like that image looks fire i'd love to try and recreate that or um might have a couple of ideas myself of things that i want to shoot that i think would look good but um i feel like if i have if i was to say okay i want this this and this it's hard for me to get in the zone because I kind of feel like once I've hit this, this and this, the job's done. So I feel like I try to, yeah, just have, make sure I'm prepared in terms of the normal, the standard timekeeping and being ready with outfits and things like that. But after that, I want to go into it empty and yeah, you can go there, blank canvas and uh, just create. Let me just get up my list. Um, I think it's your most recent post. I'm not sure if you put another one up since, but um, you did a little feature on hood rich. I'd love to shoot with them. I think their stuff is sick. Looks really good. Um, you've got Don't Panic UK, Shooters UK, Dreamer Apparels, and um, Northside Soul as well. Those are the ones that stood out a little bit more to me that I looked at. And I thought, yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to work with them. They look like really good brands, but. I mean, it's easy to say, it's easy to say all of them, bit of a cop-out answer, but yeah, it really is all of them. They've, you've got a lot of really good brands on your page, so um, any of them that see me or see this and think, oh, that's someone we could work with, as long as uh, the brand's got good people behind it, it's got good content that it's going to put out, I'll be happy to work with them. So yeah, hit me up. I'm going to break this one down into uh, into studio shoots and uh, location. So studio shoot, my favourite has been um, a shoot I did in a studio in High Wycombe with um, Afro Film View, the photographer, and uh, a model called Lindy. It was um, slightly different to what I'd been doing before. There's a bit of a step into, into the unknown for me, but I um, really enjoyed it. It was a vibe. We had music playing on set. The images that we got from it were so, so good. So yeah, I think Studio Suits, that's been my favorite. Location's a bit harder. I've done um, a lot, a lot of location shoots, a lot of sick locations with a lot of um, really, really good models. So it's harder to pick. Um, I've done a few shoots in Shoreditch with a girl called Lauren and they're always fire. She's a fire to work with and um, some of my favorite images I've ever got shooting are with her and some of those shoots. So yeah, she's up there. Then I've got um, done a few shoots with a girl called Jess. One of them in uh, Richmond Park. It was like an African theme. We had tribal paint walking through Richmond Park with a massive machete, and that was really, really good. Really good images from it as well. Um, had another shoot in Shoreditch with a girl called Maria. She's um. She's so creative, she's so lively, she's a vibe just to be around and then just obviously to shoot with as well. So um, yeah, her as well. Um, did a shoot in um, Greenwich Park with a girl called Jordana. It was a car shoot at night, it was a vibe, we had music playing, it was obviously dark and this brings a different kind of vibe to it. And um, yeah, images again were unreal. Um, so yeah, I guess I've kind of just used that one just to plug people that I've worked with. But um, yeah, it'd be really hard for me to pick one from location shoots because I've done so many and they've all been so fire in their own way. So um, yeah, I'd say I can't I can't pick one for that one. There's uh, been too many good ones and they're all fire. So yeah, that um, that's the last question for my interview of upcoming brands. So um, yeah. Uh, Hope you enjoyed hearing little insights into the industry and what I've done and been through in the industry. And yeah, um, plan to do a lot more. Very ambitious. And uh, yeah, the sky isn't the limit. There is no limit. So hopefully you'll be seeing a lot more of me.